and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name's Joe. Today we'll be continuing our series with Red, White, and Blue Racing from Play Games and the Scram 1960 season. This is race number eight as part of my test run for the Mythic Sports universe, and we will be doing our first 500-mile race. This will be the Gulf Breeze 500 at Gulf Coast Speedway. Gulf Coast Speedway here. Here's the track card. We'll review this really quick. This is an intermediate course on the U.S. Gulf Coast. We'll be doing the 500 race, which is 50 turns. There's no modifiers to escape or repair rolls. And in general, it's a fairly straightforward track, except that on sevens, we will be doing a problem roll on bottom groups every time that that happens. And other than that, it's uh, fairly standard looking. Uh, we use star instead of skill on rolls of three. This is, uh, and that is only in the last four turns of the race. This is a 1.366 mile paved oval. So the length is a little different, but that's, uh, that's all good. So we are going to, uh, to get underway. And what I'm gonna do here to shorten this up because this is a 50 turn race, so it would be a very long video. I'm going to shorten the uh, qualifying round. And the way I'm going to do that is I am going to basically do the TV week and so on off camera. And I'll come back and recap it real quick rather than showing all the rolls and all that stuff. So I'll be doing that. And then I'll do the same with fast week, slow week, and finally filling out the entire grid. And once all that is done, we can get underway. Now, a little note from the previous race. In the previous race, Lincoln Lesko, in his number eight Lincoln, which is appropriate, of course, drew a uh, five-race suspension for screwing around with an illegal setup. So he will not be participating in this race, and I removed his card from the stack. And here's the stack over here in the corner. So I'll be using that to determine our starting grid for the race. So I'm going to pop off here for a second. I'll be back with the TV driver list. Okay, let's recap our drivers, uh, TV drivers that is. We drew eight of them. So number 63, Bernie Straumer was the first drawn. He had tire issues, placement D, and because he has no trophy, he fails to qualify. 78, Gord McGreevy, He's here, and number 15, Russ Hartzell, got themselves tangled up during qualifying. They have a feud. They both received a placement B, which does put them in the top group as they both have trophies. Then we had uh, 18, Ferris Dixon. He drew a placement D because of tire problems. He's on the bubble stack. Number 34, Dino Petrucci, and 40, Roger Peachy. Ended up with the same situation as McGreevy and Hartzell. They got banged up together during qualifying. Drew placement B and are feuding. So Peachy's in the two spot and Petrucci's in the 20th spot because he has no trophies. Then we have Marie Schlemmer who drew an X TV X event. And the role there was great for her. She got pole position and two performance chips. That's a great result for a non-trophy driver. Our final one is the number two driver, Larry Hilburn. He also drew a placement D due to a tire issue, and he went to the bubble stack. So that is how the TV drivers stacked up. So I rolled a nine, and we had we drew nine drivers. Um, you can see their placements. They're just placed by trophies. We've got Gundy in the four spot, Burke in the five spot. He, he did make his three roll here. We had three bronze drivers, Roach, Sell, and Whiteman, ended up in the middle group. In the bottom group, we had three non-trophy drivers, Trainer, Rentschler, and Willis. They all went to there. And our ninth driver was Bruce Hodnett, and he's a silver trophy, but he rolled a five, needing a three or less to make the field, so he is not in the race. Do slow. We roll for all four. We'll do the slow. One, two. Three, four, all right, silver, bubble stack, bronze, bubble stack, bronze, bubble stack, gold, bottom group. There's our fast drivers. Ross Pettis goes to the bottom group. 
The other three, we rolled for four, go to Spring, Springer, Smith, and Belergen. They all go to the bubble stack. Now we'll fill out the rest of the field, and I'll come back, and we'll get the race underway. Okay, our starting field has been determined. We did have a bunch of guys who failed to, to roll high enough to actually make it. Those would be Steve Lewis in the 25, Boyce Daly in the 42, Joe Cook in the 33, Frankie Swain in the 10, Jerry Eccles in the 21, and Griffin Smith in the 77. The bubble stack guys started here, so the last 10 drivers are bubble stack drivers. The bubble stack actually got emptied right at the 43rd driver. You can see kind of where people filled in. We have some gold guys, Hal Thomas, Porter Lilly, they were far, and Jimmy Bowker. They were far enough down in the stack, Ross Pettis as well, to actually have gold trophies and end up in the bottom group. Tommy Stoffel snuck into the last spot in the top group, which is probably mostly, it's fairly evenly split, but we do have five silvers in here. One, two, three, four golds and three bronze in the middle group. Our top group here, you can see we have Eldon Briscoe jumped in there, joining the guys who were pulled earlier than that. So we are actually ready to begin the race here. So let's get right to it. First turn, we roll a two. So that's top group and a three, which is skill. So we're looking for skill in the top group. No, 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 yes. We have one guy who has skill in the top group, and that is Russ Hartzell. Now, Marie Schlemmer has two performance chips, and he rolls a five. He only has three gas pedals, so that will not work. That is the end of turn one. That was pretty quick and painless. We go to turn number two. We get a five and a six. So five is bottom group, six is skill. So Warren Epperson has skill. He also has a yellow triangle. And he does roll a six. So his pit crew quality is a C. We are in the first, third. We are checking um, problem. So he needs to roll a seven or less. And he rolls a six. So he gets to stay, but he does go to the bottom, which is only a, a loss of one spot. So he is in last place. Now we move to Herm Henderson, who also has a yellow triangle and also <laughs> rolls a six. So let's see. His uh, skill is his pit is an E, and he rolls a nine and an E. Yeah, that's he's first third. He needed a three. So Henderson is our first driver to go out of the race here in turn two. Next is uh, Marv Forsberg, who also has a triangle but he rolls a four so that is not going to do it late covington also has a triangle he rolls a one so that's good one three one so he would be looking at talby and talby does not have any break so covington actually gets to move up then we check stan perkle who again has a triangle rolls a five two one so he's looking at Worthington, and unfortunately for him, Worthington has two brake pedals. So now Belergen gets a one, two, five. So he's looking at Worthington, and he rolled a five. So Worthington has three brake, but that's not enough when you roll a five on the blue die. Okay, Rowley Springer does not have skill. Larry Hilburn does. He rolls a six. He does not have a triangle, but that's still higher than his four gas. No, Vern Burr has it, and he rolls a two, four, one. So he will be looking at Lonnie Smith, who does have one break, so that will not work. We go to Hal Thomas with a four gas rating. He rolls a four, three, one. So we're looking even on here. Branch Montana does have one break, so that will not work either. Porter Lilly with five gas gets a five, two, one. So he would be looking odd in the five spot, but Belergen does have one break, so that does not work for work out for him. Jimmy Bowker also with five gas gets a four, five, six. So this is going to work for him. So we're in the five spot even, which is Burl Exum. And even though Exum has skill, he only has one break, and we rolled a six, so he gets swapped out. So Bowker jumps up into the middle group. 
banishing Burl Exum to the bottom. Carl Royal, three gas, rolls a five. So he avoids the, the, tr the problem roll, but he does not get to, uh, to try to pass. Bridges Baker only has three gas, rolls a one, two, five. So one, two, so we're looking at Berlajan and a five. So that is going to actually work out for him. So Royal moves up. Now Bridges Baker gets a one, six, six. So he's looking at Stoffel and that's actually gonna work out for him. So we go to Patch Willis, who only has two gas and rolls a six. He does not have a triangle, so he's okay. Wrenchler only has three. He gets a four, so he's got nothing. And that's it. That's the end of turn number two. We go to turn number three. And we get another five and an eight. This time we're looking at star in the bottom group. So no, no. Forsberg is our first star. He has a, he rolls a five, which is not a six. So he gets lucky on that, on that event because he does have a yellow triangle, but he fails to, uh, to get to attempt a pass. Kenny Worthington is next. He rolls a one, five, six. So he's looking at the odd driver in the five box, which is Rocket Felder. That's six. Nobody, nobody beats a six basically. So Worthington, who is a good driver, Manages to get up into the middle group. Improves his position considerably. Rowley Springer, another good driver. He has a 5-5-4. Five, five, That's probably going to turn out well for him as well. He's looking at Bowker. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. He's looking at Worthington, who has 2-3. So his, his stay up top was short-lived. Now we get Larry Hilburn. Four gas, rolls a four, five, two. So even up here, Balker only has one. Oh, but he's got skill. So that fails. Ferris Dixon rolls a six. So that's not going to work. Next star is uh, Burl Exum, star, star. So he can do this twice. He rolls a six on the first try. But the blue is a four, not a five or a six. So his blue triangle is not activated. So he gets to try again. And he rolls a six again. But again, the blue is a three. So he escapes trouble or problems, rather. Then we go to Belairton. Rolls a two, four, four. So four even is Lonnie Lane Sr. And Belairton's going to take his spot. So he's been fairly active so far. Uh, Stoffel's not a star. No, no. Pettis, he's a star. He rolls a five. He does have five gas. A five and a three. So we're looking at the five driver odd. So that would be Rowley Springer. Ross Pettis gets back into the top group. And he's our final star. So that's the end of turn number three. We go to turn four, and we roll another bottom group check. Um, five and six. So again, we're looking at skill in the bottom group. I'd like to move something outside the bottom group because these guys take a long time because there's a lot of them. Pettit Epperson with a two. He gets a two and a three and a six. So he's looking at Branch Montana, and he actually sends Branch Montana all the way to the back. Next is Forsberg, who only has a two. He rolls a four, so no problem, but no advance either. Next is Perkle. He rolls a three, which is what he has. Two, one. So he's looking at odd in the two spot. Carl Royal does have a break, so nope, not for, Pe for Perkle there. We move to Kenny Worthington. Rolls a four, six, five. So he's looking at Pepper Stockton, who has no break. So Worthington will move up. Larry Hilburn. 
three, four, one. So odd on the four is Mike Aluso, and he's got two break, so no dice. Vern Burr, he's here. Three, six, two. So he's looking odd at the six, which is Bridges Baker. That is going to work for him. And we move to Hal Thomas. He rolls a three, four, three. So we're looking at odd on four, which is Macaluso. He has two break. So Thomas will take that spot. Porter Lilly, still trying to get out of the back, and he's gonna do it. He's got a four, a five, and a six. So five even is Bowker. Bowker has been pretty active as well, bouncing back and forth. Next skill driver is Exum, and he rolls a 2-1-3. So two is good. One with even is Roach, so he's going to take Roach's spot. Uh, Exum, there he is. All right, Burl Exum escapes the bottom group. Our next skill is Tommy Stoffel. Rolls a five, he does have five gas pedals, five, five, five. So when we roll triples, we do get a problem drop, a problem roll. He rolls a 24 and a 24 on the problem finder is tire rub, drop to front of bottom group with an asterisk. Driver already in bottom group moves to the end of the group. So bad break for Tommy Stoffel, who has to go to the bottom. So we have two fairly big name drivers sitting at the back of the pack here with Branch Montana in 41st and Tommy Stoffel last in 42nd. That's uh, that's not great. Um, so next skill, Patch Willis. Rolls a one, so that's a good roll for him. One, three, five. So three odd is Lake Covington, and Lake Covington is going to get bumped by Patch Willis. Patch Willis is not a particularly skilled driver, but he does move his way up to 13th. And that is the last check we have here in turn four. So we now move to turn number five. And we get a two and an eight. So two is top group, eight is star. And the only stars we have are these guys right here. We have three of them. So we'll start with Eldon Briscoe. He rolls a five, five, four. So we ignore the white, the white die. And four breaks. She only has two because so she's gonna have to use a performance chip to stay in first. Now we go to Gundy. He rolls a five. And a five again, so she's going to lose her second performance chip. And her time at the top is probably uh, coming close to being over, if depending on what Roger Peachy does here. And he does roll triple, so he gets a problem. That's a good roll for Marie Schlemmer. As he gets a 25, a problem finder says, cooling problem, roll for repair. Okay, we don't have to adjust our repair roll. So we're looking, his crew is an E. This is not an easy one to pass, even though we are in the first third of the race. He still needs a three or less. And he rolls a four. Bad luck for Roger Peachy, who has a cooling problem here in turn number five and is out of the race. We'll roll to see if Exum slides into the top group, which he does with five gas pedals. It was probably gonna be him. Check Petrucci. He rolls a one, so he actually makes it. Okay, that's the end of turn five. We go to turn six. Four, seven, middle group. Seven is a control check, and then we will conclude our turn with a problem roll for the bottom group. So control check here. Burr has it, so we'll start with him. He gets a two, three, five. So he's looking at Aaron Burke with five breaks. That is, I mean, with, yeah, with a five on the blue and Burke with no break. Well, one, he's got one for his position, but that's not enough. Control, Ross Pettis has a star control. He rolls a two, two, three. 
So he's looking at Norm Gundy, who has one break. He has control, so that's two. Break bonus would give him three, so he's got to roll. Use his second chance here. And this time he rolls a one five five, so that is probably going to do it. Yep, he's going to take Gordon McGreevy's spot. So Pettis moves into the top group. Now we'll check Porter Lilly, who started in the back. One four two. So he's looking at Gundy, who again has one, two, three, so that's not going to work. Hal Thomas gets a one, four, uh, one, two, six. So this time Gundy is going to get bumped by Hal Thomas. And uh, let's see. Belergen gets a five, so that is higher than his four gas pedals. Patch Willis, no. <laughs> he rolled a three, Patch Willis. I was wondering if he could sneak into the top group. Warren Epperson, equally unlikely to be up in the race, and he is not going to pass that check. Carl Royal rolls a one, one, six. How about that? He's going he's gonna to move up to second. Carl Royal jumping into the two spot. Wilsey Whiteman. And a blue triangle. Well, he rolls a two, which is good. A one, which is also good. And Royals stay at the two spot was very, very short-lived. And Godfrey Sell is our last contestant. And he rolls a six, but he has no triangle, so he's okay, except for not being able to move up. That's turn six. It is pit stop time. So we roll for our pit stop, and we get one, which is top group, and then doubles, 5-5. Five, five. So with that, we get uh, pit violations for the unlucky drivers in the number five spot, which is Ross Pettis, who's a good driver, <laughs> Kenny Worthington, another good driver, and Gordon McGreevy. So they have to move to the end of the bottom group. So they're going to end up back here. And I will do the reordering at the end of the pit stop. So we're checking top group now for fast pit. So we'll start with Exum. His fast pit number is an 8. He gets a 12. Then we'll try Briscoe, who gets a 9 on it. His eight, he has an 8. Vern Burr with an 11. So he's going to get it. And a chip. Hal Thomas, he's going to get it. And a chip. And Wilsey Whiteman gets a seven. And seven is good, at least until we get to the last third when it becomes a five. So three drivers get, and they're all in a row, and they're all at the top already, so they, nobody moves up. But they all have um, performance chips now that they can use against the defenseless Marie Schlemmer up there in first. So that, uh, that is the end of the pit stop. Let me roll for to see who is going to challenge Marie Schlemmer coming out of the pit. It's the number two, Hal Thomas. So he just needs to roll. Well, it doesn't really matter what he rolls. He rolled a six. But he can spend his chip to take the top spot. So he will take the top spot. Coming out of the pit stop, Hal Thomas is your new leader. That is our first lead change. All right, I fixed up the field here coming out of our pit. So we filled in everybody. Uh, we had some guys who surprisingly rolled too high to jump up, but uh, that's okay. We also had Jim Rentschler in the 85 roll a six on his check to move up. So he ended up with a problem, which turned out to be a clutch problem, failed his saving roll on the repair, and is out of the race. So we will move on to turn number eight. We roll a six, we're gonna have a duel. And a three is the number three car in the top group, which is Marie Schlemmer. So she's gonna take on Whiteman here to see if she can at least cost him his chip. And she rolls a five, so she's gonna have a problem. So since she rolled a five and failed, she has to roll for trouble now. So we roll against her escape rating, which is a nine. She rolls a six, so she successfully Avoids that, and Whiteman keeps his chip, and we move on to 
Uh, turn number nine. And we get another duel, number 11, the number three cars in the middle group. So these two guys right here. So we will roll. Gundy will try to take Royal. He rolls a one, so that is successful. And he gets a chip. And I'm gonna make Royal fuming. I decided to play it that way as opposed to just st setting up a feud. I've already got two feuds in this race. That's probably more than enough. Now Belarjin will try to take on Hartzell. He could, in, th in theory, try to take Gundy's spot, but that's probably not gonna, gonna work. And he rolls a four, so he also succeeds. So Hartzell will now go drop back. Belarjin gets a chip and Hartzell gets a fume. That is turn number nine. On to turn number 10. Six, another duel. And this time it's a seven. Fume feud. We have two feuders, two sets of feuders and two uh, fumers as well. Let me bust out my four-sided dice and we're gonna figure out who, who actually, no, this would be. All right. Uh, what did we get here? We got a one. So that will be McGreevy and Hartzell. So we'll roll on the feud fume results. And we get a five. And a five is rabbit out yellow. So we're looking at McGreevy, who's all the way back here. So he'd be the turtle. And Hartzell, who's here. So he would be the rabbit. So he's out. So he is out and we get a yellow. And the yellow flag will take care of turn 11 as well. Now we have to fill. Springer can take the spot, he should, and he doesn't. Galgano gets it. So that's twice now that Springer has rolled to move up and failed. And we're down to 39 drivers left in the race. So we lose one turn for the one driver who had trouble. We are on turn 12 now. We get a four and a seven. So four is middle group and a seven is control. And again, we have to check a problem, which I forgot to do last time. Must remember to do that. So actually we got an eight, not a seven. It was a five and a three, which is an eight. So that's star in the middle group. So we will start with Lonnie Lane. Rolls a two, three, three. So he's looking here. And Marie Schlemmer, oh wait, three. And Vern Burr will use his chip to avoid getting past. The next check goes to Carl Royal. And he rolls a five, which is too high. Ed Blairgen gets a six, <laughs> six, one, five. So um, they both have a chip. So we'll roll to see if they keep the chip, if they both keep or lose their chips. It is even, so they keep their chips, but no change. And now Norm Gundy gets a 4-4-4, four, 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 which is triples, which means we have to roll for a problem check. And we get a 16, which is cut tire undercarriage damage, roll for repair. So Gundy's pit crew is an E. We are now in the, let's see, yeah, we're still in the first third. So with a pit crew of E, he needs to roll a three or less, and he gets a three. What a pull, what a big roll for Norm Gundy to stay in the race. That is the end of turn number 12. Go to turn 13. And we get a five and a six. So six, skill in the back, bottom group. So we're looking at skill. Start with Kenny Worthington. He gets a six, so that's not going to get it done. Uh, no, no. Tommy Stoffel trying to escape here. He's going to do it. Four, five, six. So we're looking at even. So that's Dwight Trainer. Stoffel is able to jump into the top spot. Ross Pettis misses out because he doesn't have skill, unfortunately for him. 
So we get Branch Montana looking to do the same thing, and he rolls a six, so he's not going to do it. Marv Forsberg rolls a six. He has a yellow triangle, so he's going to have to check for a problem. And his pick crew's an E, so he's probably going to end up being out of the race. And we get a 51, which is a spin drop to front of bottom group. So in his case, that means dropping to the back of the bottom group. Rolls a five, two, three. So he's looking at Patch Willis, and that will do it. And Purple jumps into the top. Patch Willis gets sent back to the bottom. It's always interesting when these low skill drivers actually manage to move up. No, yes. Pepper Stockton rolls a six. So no. Sorry. Larry Hilburn. Rolls a two for two. So two for two. He's looking even here. Yep. So Aaron Burke gets bumped. Now we check Larry Hilburn. Rolls a three, six, four. So he's looking odd in the sixth spot and he will take Galgano. Bridges Baker rolls a four three four. So even in the four, uh, no, even in the three spot is Carl Royal. Uh, Bridges Baker, Jimmy Bowker, four three four. So even in the three is Baker, who just moved up and is now moving down. Next skill, that's it, that's it. Turn 13 is over. One, top group six, skill. And I forgot to roll for a problem again on that last time I rolled a seven. I need to get my head out of my butt, apparently. So we're checking the uh, skill in the top group. So we'll start with Godfrey Sell. He rolls a one, four, one. So one break is not going to do it. Uh, Thomas has four on this because he has skill. So we'll roll for Bert Exum now. He rolls a one, four. And like I said, Thomas has four, so he will stick. Uh, no, no, Briscoe has, doesn't have skill. Vern Burr does. He rolls a four, though, which is too high for his gas pedals. Now we get Marie Schlemmer, who does not have skill, and Wilsey Whiteman does not have skill. So that's that. We go to turn number 15. And we roll a 2, which is again top group, and a 9, which is reflex. So we're looking at reflex in the top group. We'll start with Burl Exum, who rolls a 4, 5. So that is actually going to be good enough because Thomas does not have reflex, so his number was only a 3. So Exum jumps into the top spot here in turn number 15. Let's see if he can hold it. Because he has to hold it against, uh, well, he has what? One, two, he's got four breaks. So Briscoe is up. Briscoe only rolls a one break, so that's not going to get it done. Uh, Burr has reflex. He only rolls a three break, so that will not get it done. Schlemmer does not have reflex. But Wilsey Whiteman does, and he has a chip, so we are going to probably have a change here. Yes, he does not roll a problem, so that means that Burl Exum is going to lose his spot. He does have four break, but because of the chip, Wilsey Whiteman can take the spot and will. That is turn 15. On to turn number 16. Three, middle group, and four is TV. So we have two TV drivers here, Hilburn and Petrucci. And we get a one, four, four. So we're looking at Burl Exum. He has two break, so Hilburn is going to take that spot. Jumps all the way up to second, and Exum falls all the way back to 19th. Now Petrucci... Rolls a four, which is above his three. 
Now he has a red triangle and it is above his uh, gas pedal. So that indicates he's going to have a problem. So we need to roll for this. 41, 41 on the problem finder is battery change, drop to front of bottom group. So he's gonna drop to the bottom group. Let's see if uh, Rowley Springer, who has five gas, can roll high enough to get up there, and he does. So then we just swap that like that. Petrucci does not fall out of the race. He's kind of lucky on in that regard, but he does end up dropping out of the top group. Now we'll roll for our second pit stop turn, and we get a four. So four is middle group, and we rolled an uh, a doubles again. So again, we're going to have pit violations. So Briscoe, Pepper Stockton, and Tommy Stoffel go to the back. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. All right, moving on. So we can now check for uh, middle group for uh, fast pit. So we'll start with Springer, who has an eight. So he gets it. So he's going to move up, probably. Exum has an 8, he rolls a 10, so that's no. Uh, Lonnie Lane rolls a 9, so no. Covington's is only a 4, so he rolls a 7. Porter Lilly needs a 6 or less, he gets a 5, so that works for him. Now we have Jimmy Bowker, he's a 7, rolls a 9, so no. Stan Perkle's a 4, gets a 6. Epperson is a four, gets a two, so good for him. Uh, Berlergen is a seven, and he rolls a seven, so he gets a second chip. And Gundy is a six, and gets a four, so he gets a second chip. All right, so that means Porter Lilly will move up here. And we have two spots to fill. Well, let's roll for the top. Well, we need to move. We need to move some people here. So we'll start with Gundy. He rolls a three, so he gets to move up to the top group. And we'll have a chance to challenge if, he, if we roll a six. So that's going to slide everybody up again. And we have three holes to fill in the middle group now. We'll start with Petrucci. And he rolls a four. And again, it's above his... Three uh, gas, so he has to roll for a problem. And he rolls a 65, which is black smoke from under hood. Roll for repair. He's got an A, uh, an E, so he needs to roll a three or less. Rolls a five, he's out. So Petrucci is out in turn 17. So now we'll check Fuzzy Peters. He moves up. We'll check Mel Roach. Moves up. We'll check Dave Wedge. He does not move up. Bridges Baker moves up. Okay. That is the end of turn 17. Oh, we need to check to who who's gonna challenge for Hal Thomas is gonna challenge Whiteman coming out of the hit and he rolls a four so he does successfully take the lead and we're on to turn number 18 a three which is middle group and a three which is skill all right so we're looking for skill godfrey cell has it oh middle group sorry bridges baker gets a two one five that would be hillburn All right, no, no, Burl Exum. Uh-oh, he rolled a six, but he has a blue triangle and his blue die is a four, so he avoids problems. So unfortunately, that also means he doesn't get to challenge. And we get Covington rolls a two, one, three. So one, is the only break bonus there. So Covington actually gets to move up to the number two spot. Jimmy Bowker in the number 13. Is it a lucky 13? Wait a minute. Is he driving an Edsel? 
He is driving an Edsel. Look at that. Jimmy Bowker in the number 13 Edsel. Rolling a 2-4-6. Well, Wilsey Whiteman has three breaks, but he rolled a six. So, Bowker jumping into the top group. Stan Perkle. One, five, three. He's going to jump up. Well done. All right, now we get some people with some chips. Porter Lilly rolls a five, which he has, three, five. Burn Burr doesn't need to use his chip, jumps up. Warren Epperson with only two gas pedals. Rolls a three, five, four. So he's looking at Perkle, and you know what? He's gonna use his chip to win this, to do this challenge and get into the top group, because why not? Now we got uh, Mr. Belair Jin. He gets a two, three, two, two, three. So that will take care of Marie Schlemmer and he does not you need to use his performance chip. That is turn number 18 in the books. And we get a one and a seven. So we are looking at control. And I do need to remember this time to do the problem roll for the bottom group. Let's see if that lining them up right on there will let me know. Yeah, we need to do that. So we're looking at the control in the top, top group. So we'll start with Gundy. He rolls a five, five, six, six. Well, this, this six won't matter, but this six does. He's going to take the top spot, at least temporarily. He has two chips, so he might sit up there for a little bit. Epperson only has two gas pedals. He rolls a five and a six. So the five, obviously, way too high. We go to Jimmy Bowker. He rolls a one and a three. So the three isn't enough because he's got three breaks. Porter Lilly with a chip. Rolls a two and a six. So we have, a, we have a chip off here. So we'll roll to see if they keep or expend. They both expend. So that will remove one of Gundy's chips. Still has one left. And one more challenge. Ed Berlard in here gets a four, four, four. So he's got to roll for a problem. Okay, so he cannot use a chip to escape his problem. We get a 15, and a 15 is cut tire causes wreck. Roll on trouble repair chart and yellow flag. All right, so he's going to have to roll for uh, trouble. His pit crew is a D, and I'm going to lose my dice here. but And we roll a 2. So that means the escape is... Uh... Oh, we're rolling on the repair chart for trouble. He's a D. We are in the middle third. Trouble roll would be a six, so he's good. But that does cause a yellow flag, so that's going to bring us, that's going to conclude 19 and 20. But I do need to roll for a problem in the bottom group here. So our locator is 16, and a 16 is driver three. One, two, three. That is Carl Royal, who has a rating of uh, C for his pit crew. Rolls a four, so a C in the middle third is a five. He's good, so no problems for Carl Royal. And we go on to turn 21. Six, so we get a duel and the, with five, so it's the number five car in the top group. Epperson may, may pass. He's only got a two. Let's go for it. He's going to try to get the number two spot. Here. And look at that. <laughs> it actually worked. So he gets to jump all the way up to the two spot. And Covington, who's also kind of in a rare, he's up in some rare air as well. He drops back to that, to sit, uh, fifth or sixth rather. And we have to roll for a problem for him. He gets a, um, a 14. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. His skills at E, we're in the middle third. So he needs a roll of five or less and he does not get it. So he is out. And we get another yellow flag. Uh, burn turn 20. 
one and 22. So now we'll move, see who gets to move up. We'll check Marie Schlemmer. She rolls a four, so no. We'll check Perkle. He rolls a six. That's a trouble result, so now we have to uh, check him. So we're rolling on the problem chart. He rolls an eight. He has a pit of E, uh, middle third. He's out. So that's going to open up another spot. We need to roll to see if Burr moves up. He rolls a two, so he does. Springer moves up. These guys all move up. Wedge rolls a three. He goes up. Macaluso rolls a six, does not go up. Call Royal rolls a six. He now has to roll for um, a, a, a problem. His pit crew is an E, so he's also going to be out. Ferris Dixon has a three. He rolls a six. No. Galgano has a four. He rolls a three. So he'll move up. And now we backfill, and we go to turn 23. Six, another duel, and six is the number six cars in the middle group. So these two guys right here. So we'll roll, uh, Galgano gets to go first. He'll go after Schlemmer. He rolls a three, that's good. So now she has to roll against... Her escape rating of a nine. She rolled. Um, she rolls an eight, so that's good. She's okay. Now Wedge will roll against. Uh, we'll go for Godfrey. Well, we'll go for Springer and see if we can make him lose his chip. And we do. So he loses his chip, but stays in his spot. All right. That is turn twenty-three. On to twenty-four. And we get a three, which is middle group, and a six, which is skill. So no, no, yes. Hillburn is our first here. He gets a one, one, six. So that is more than good enough to bump Mr. Epperson. And next is Exum. He rolls a six, four, four. So again, he dodges the, uh, the blue triangle. And now Bridges Baker rolls a six, five, four, five. So that's no good for him. Uh, he has no skill. Godfrey Sell rolls a three, two, five. So he's going to make Belagin spend one of his chips. And that's it. That's it. All right. On to turn 25. Three, seven. So again, we get the seven. And it's middle group control. So we'll start with Marie Schlemmer. She rolls a five, two, three, so too high. Uh, Dave Wedge gets a two, two, four. That will make Belergen spend his other chip. And we go to Epperson. He rolls a three, so too high. Mel Roach does not have control, no control, no control. Lonnie Lane. Four, four, six. That's good enough. Wilsey Whiteman. Five. He only has three. And he barely dodges the uh, the blue triangle of death. Godfrey Sell gets a two, four, one. That's not going to bump Lonnie Lane because of the one on the blue. Rowley Springer. 1-1-6. One, one, so that is going to bump Larry Hilburn. And Ernie Galgano, to close it out, gets a 2-2-3. Two, two, and that is actually going to work out for him. So that's turn 25 as we near... That is the midpoint. We have to do our check here for the problem in the back. And we roll a 56. And a 56 is driver number 18, which we do not have. 
So I will look for a red triangle, which we also do not have. So we're going to assign it to Marv Forsberg. Roll, roll. He rolls a 16. A 16 is cut tire, undercarriage, damage, roll for repair. He has a an E, and we are in the middle third, and, and there is no, no chance of him passing that check, so he's out. The attrition continues. We move on to turn 26. We get a 3 and a 10. So again, middle group, and a 10 is heat. Heat this time. So we'll start with Dave Wedge. And he gets a 1-1-4. One, one, so that will work. And he'll jump into the 2 spot. Mel Roach. Bit of a hothead, apparently. Rolls a 5, so no good. Fuzzy Peters. Rolls a 5-5-2, five, five, also no good. Earl Exo. 5-5-6. Five, five, so he gets to take that spot. Uh, and I forgot to award performance chips for the stupid duels. Damn it. All right. Um, Bridges Baker. Rolls a six. Has no triangle. Wilsey Whiteman. Two, four, one. So that's not going to work out. We go to turn 27, second pit stop turn, five, six, or two and four, rather. Sorry about that. So these guys swap. And five is the uh, is both groups, both groups and race leader. So they all get to roll for a uh, fast pit. So we swap two and four there, and we swap two and four here. Now we have a lot of fast pit checks to make. So we'll start with Marie Schlemmer, who has a nine. Actually, no, she has a three. <laughs> nope. Uh, Rowley Springer has an eight. No. Epperson has a four. Yes. Wow. Um, Mel Roach has a four. No. We're not in the last third yet, so his fast pit is still a seven, Wilsey Whiteman. And that works for him. And we have a 5 for Godfrey Sell, who gets an 11. Jimmy Bowker is a 7, gets a 7. Bridges Baker is a 5, gets a 4. Fuzzy Peters is a 5, gets a 6. Hal Thomas is a 7, gets a 3. Larry Hilburn is an 8, gets a 10, and Ed Berlergen is a 7 and gets a 5. So there we go. All right, so we know he goes. Now we check these guys. Burr has a 3, a 4 rather, and gets a 5. Close, but no cigar. An 8 for Exum is directly on his number. Delgado has a four, gets a nine. Lily has a six, gets a seven. Lonnie Lane has a six, gets a nine. And Dave Wedge has a six and gets a seven. So just X them. And now we'll check race leader Norm Gundy. Who has a six and gets a nine. So he does not get a chip. Now we roll to see who gets the challenge. It is Exum. Both drivers have a chip, so it is a six, which is above his number. So that will prevent him from uh, doing it. And uh, well, he could auto he could use his chip for that, but then his chip. Well, let's roll to see if they both use their chip. They both keep their chip, so. That's the pit turn, 27. We go on to num turn number 28. And we roll a 5, which is bottom group, and a 7, which is control, but also a problem check for the bottom. So control in the bottom group. Stoffel's first. He can escape. Oh, he rolls a 6, so he cannot. Pepper Stockton. He also rolls a, a 6. Eldon Briscoe, 
also rolls a six. Come on, get out of there. All right, no. Gordon McGreevy has a three, rolls a five. Ross Pettis, star control. He gets a five, so that's good enough. Five, four, four. So the five is odd, so he's looking at Fuzzy Peters, and Ross Pettis will escape the bottom group and get into the middle group. Trainer has... Uh, he rolls a 1-6-2. So that's uh, Marie Schlemmer, who falls to the bottom group. She was the race leader. She did sit on the pole with two performance chips. Uh, Montana has no control. Yoder has control. He gets a 3-6-5. So Trainer gets replaced by Yoder. Talby rolls a five, which is too high. Patch Willis has a two, gets a two, two, four. So he's looking at Bridges Baker and will cost Baker his chip. And then we have Rocket Felder. He has a five, which is too high. Aaron Burke rolls a four, which is good. 6-6. Six, six. So he's looking at Rowley Springer, who has no break. So there you go. Ferris Dixon gets a 4. Too high. Willie Macaluso does not have control. Now let's see who gets the problem. It is 26. 26 in the bottom group is number 6. That's Lindsay Talby. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it's an E, so it doesn't even matter what happens here because that's going to result in Lindsay Talby being out of the race. It doesn't even matter. I'll roll anyway so we know what uh, the problem was. It is a an 11, which is an odd problem. And a 32 on the odd problem is, oh, not out. See, this is why you got to follow the procedure, Joe. 32, change shock mount to end of bottom group. So, we don't have to worry about that. And we just fill every fill it in here. So not good, but could have been worse. That's the end of turn 28. We go to turn 29. And we get a 6, which is a duel, and doubles of 8. So 8 is the number 6 cars in the middle group. So we had, have to add a feud fume result to the turn as well because we roll doubles. So we'll, I'm going to choose to do the duel first. So we're looking at Yoder and Burke. So Yoder will go first. He will challenge um, Bridges Baker to see if we can get, um, see if we can avoid the chip boys up here. And he does succeed. So that works. And now we have to check Baker for a for trouble. So we roll here to see his escape. He rolls an eight, his escape is a 10, so he manages to escape, so that's good. And the other one is Burke, and he will go for Hilburn. So he needs to roll a four or less, he rolls a two, so that is successful. Now, Hilburn's escape is a seven, and he rolls a one, so it's not gonna, it's gonna definitely be a seven. It ends up being a four. So no trouble for anybody there, which is good for them. And now we have to do our feud and fume results. All right, so let's see who the hothead is. So we have McGreevy and Hartzell, Petrucci. Well, Petrucci and uh, Hartzell are out. Peachy's also out, so that's just McGreevy. We do have some fuming, though. We have Royal is also fuming, so Royal is also out of the race. So we don't have anybody. All right, well, that made it easy. So that was turn 29. We go to turn 30. Whoops. And we get a 2 for top group and a 10 for heat. So no heat. Galgano has heat. He's our first contestant. 
he gets a one and a five. So that will make Gundy, well, he has two heat plus one is three. Nope, that's actually five. So not successful. It's gonna be any, it's gonna be hard for anybody to knock him off because they need they need to roll a six on the blue die. So Porter Lily, that's the challenge, and he rolls a five through uh, five and five, so that's still not good enough. Lonnie Lane rolls a four and a two on the blue die, not good enough. Dave Wedge, Dave Wedge rolled a five red. If he had rolled a three or less, this would have been a successful challenge, but he did not. So now he's got two heat and he's got two heat. So we get two chances here. So the first one fails. So let's check to see if they spend their chip here. And they do. So both spend their chip. So now on his second attempt, if he if he succeeds, he succeeds. And he gets a five, which is good, and a four. So he's got Again, five break, so not successful, but they did both lose their chip. So that's turn 30, and we go to 31, and we get a three and a six. So three is middle group, and six is skill. Start with Bridges Baker. He has a four, that's above his three gas, so no. Larry Hilburn gets a six, which is above his four, so no. Godfrey Cell has a six. That's above his, so no. Mel Roach does not have skill. Neither does Pettis. Neither does Burke. Warren Epperson. Rolls a four. Now, he can use his, um, his chip, and he will. So he's going to jump up here to fourth. Now, Wilsey Whiteman does not have skill. Jimmy Bowker does. And he rolls a two, five, four. So he's gonna get the spot without spending his chip. Hal Thomas has a two, four, two. So he's gonna take the spot without spending his chip. And Ed Belergen it's a one five five, and they both have a chip. So let's see if they keep their chip or lose it, and they keep it. They keep it, but no movement. So that's turn thirty one in the books. All right, black six. We have a duel. That was a six. I knocked it over. So a four. So that's the number four car in the top group. That is Hal Thomas. So he's going to go after Burl Exum. And he gets a two, so that is successful. Now we have to check uh, Exum for trouble. His escape is a nine. He rolls a three, so he's good. And Thomas gets a chip that I always forget to give for the dual winners. So we'll do that. And we go to uh, turn number 33. 3-4, middle group, TV. So we only have one TV driver in the middle group, Larry Hilburn. He gets a six, so that's too high to do anything. So we go to turn number 34. We get a two, which is top group, and four, which is TV. We have no TV drivers. So that's a no... That's a no there. We are now in our final third of the race. Five, four, bottom group, four is TV. We do have some TV drivers down here. So Gordon McGreevy, you're up first. One, four, two. So the one is odd, unfortunately for him, and that's Pettis, so he will not win that challenge with only two. So Marie Schlemmer, you're up next. She gets a one, two, two. So one odd is Porter Lily, and that's gonna actually work out for her. So Marie Schlemmer gets back into the middle group. Again, was our pole setter. And Ferris Dixon. One, one, two. So that's Marie Schlemmer. <laughs> and so they swap spots. So Marie Schlemmer's move up was brief. 
That is turn 35 in the books. 15 turns to go. One, five. So one is top group. Five is smart. No, no, yes. Burl Exum. He's got the smarts. Rolls a one, four, three. So that would be the four is ignored. Three is not going to knock Gundy out with his five. Um, actually, he's got three. One and the two bonus. So he does not have smarts. That means Hal Thomas is probably going to jump into the lead here. And he does get a three, which is below his gas. And a four and a three. So... Um, he would fail this, but because he has two chips, he's going to spend one and he's going to take the lead and Gundy will drop to second successful pass by Hal Thomas. Hal Thomas has taken the lead three. This is his third time taking the lead in this race of 50. All right. We go to turn 37, our pit turn and we get a three and a three and a six. So we are looking at the middle group and three and six. So these guys will swap. And we will roll. And uh, we have to swap these two as well. And now we check for Fast Pits, we'll start with Lonnie Lane, who has a six, rolls a three, so he is successful. Wilsey Whiteman rolls a seven. We are not in the last, oh, we are in the last third, so he would need a five, so he fails. Godfrey Sell needs a five, gets a five. Good for him. Mel Roach needs a four, gets a five. Ross Pettis has a 10, gets a 3. Aaron Burke has, needs a 4, gets a 9. Bridges Baker has a 5, gets a 10. Hilburn has an 8, gets a 6. These chips are slippery right now. Galgano needs a 4, doesn't get it. Yoder needs a two. Slim choice, slim chance. Gets a four. Ferris Dixon needs a six. Nope. And Berlergen needs a seven. And yes. So he's got two chips. Could come in handy here as we come down to stretch. So let's re rearrange here so we know he goes here. And now we roll to see who challenges for the lead. And it is... The two car, Norm Gundy. He has a chip, so the best he can hope to do is make him spend his chip. He gets a five and a six, so that will make Hal Thomas spend his chip. And that is the end of turn 37. On to turn. Oh, six is a duel, and an eight is the number six cars in the middle group. So we'll start with Aaron Burke. He rolls a one, that is successful. Uh, he'll go for Dixon as the first non-chip driver. So now Dixon will roll for trouble. He needs a, he has an 11, so, oh, he rolled a nine. Fairly close. And we know Burke gets a chip. And now Roach will go for Yoder. He gets a four, which is above his number, so he fails. So now he has to roll for trouble. And he rolls a three, his escape is an eight, so he's good as well, but he gets no chip. So that's the end of turn 38. we we'll go to turn 39. Four, middle group eight, star. Middle group star, Ferris Dixon, starting us off. Gets a six, so no. Next star is Lonnie Lane. Lonnie Lane gets a five. And a three and a two. So that's Burr. So he's going to take that and keep his chip. Because he only has one break. Next star is Godfrey Sell. Rolls a two, three, four. 
So that would be good. He's both, they both have a chip, so let's see if they get to keep them. They do, but no movement. And we have Ross Pettis. He rolls a 3-3-6, so he's also looking at Lonnie Lane. Again, they both have a chip. So we will, and they both keep them. Hilburn rolls a 6, a uh, 5, who also has a chip, and a 2. So we'll roll to see if they keep their, uh, keep their chips, and they do. All right, Belergen, last one, rolls a six, too high. Four is someone who does not have a chip, but two break. So he's gonna spend one of his chips to complete the successful challenge and take Exum's spot and move into the top four, or top five rather. That's turn 39, turn 40, last quarter of the race about to begin, another duel. Nine, which is the five cars in the middle group. So these two guys right here. So we'll let Bridges Baker go after Vern Burr. Rolls a six, too high. Now he has to check for trouble. His escape is a 10. He gets a four. That's good enough. Galgano will now go after Burr. Why not? He gets a one, so that's successful. Now Burr has to roll for escape, but he does have an 11, so that's pretty good. He gets a five, so more than good enough. So no trouble there. Now we go to turn number 41. Another duel, six on there and a five. So five is the number five car in the top group, which is Bowker. He will go after Gundy. Rolls a three. That's good enough. Gundy has to roll for trouble. His escape is a seven, so that's one of the lower ones, really. And he gets a six, so he's good. All right, turn 41 in the books. Going to turn 42. A four, which is middle group, and a six, which is skill. So skill in the middle group. First up will be Bridges Baker. And again, I forgot to give a chip for successful uh, successful duels. I think that's right. So Bridges Baker rolls a one, four, four. So that's here. And Bowker has two break and he has skill. So that's three break, but that's still not good enough. So he's gonna have to spend one of his chips. Then we go to Vern Burr. He gets a two, two, five, Dave Wedge. All right, now, uh, skill, Godfrey Seven. Three, four, two. So he's got three break, not good enough. Cell can spend his chip, but Belarjan can counter, so they roll and they keep their chips. And we have Hilburn and Exum to go. Hilburn gets a two, six, five, so he's gonna take that without losing his chip. And now Exum's up. And he gets a two, four, six. So Belergen has to spend his chip to fend him off. And that is turn 42. Now we go to turn 43. We get a two, top group, nine. Nine is Reflex. Reflex in the top group will start with Gundy. And get a five, which is good. He's also got a starred reflex. And a three, which is not good. So he's going to try again. And this time he gets a five and a four. So that is good enough. And Gundy takes the top spot again. Gundy takes the lead for the second time. Belarjan gets a six, too high. And the next reflex is Burr. He also gets a six, so no. And Bowker, who has a chip. And he rolls a six, so he can spend his chip, which he will, of course. With his Etzel, he takes the lead. Let's turn 43. 
getting into the late stages here. Three, middle group, eight, star, Ferris Dixon. He's a star. Rolls a five, too high. Okay, Gordon Sell. One, two, three. So two is here. He's got one break. So that's not good enough. And Pettis is a star, also has a chip. Rolls a six, five, two. So he can spend his chip and take Hal Thomas' spot. So Thomas goes from the lead down to 10th. And the last star, and it's a starred star, belongs to Burl Exum, who rolls a one, three, three. So that will make Lonnie, uh, nope, he's a three. That's, he doesn't have to spend it. So we're gonna roll again for Exum. And he rolls a five, which is okay. And a six and a one. So not good enough. That's turn 44 on to 45. Three, five. So three is again middle group and five is smart. So we're looking for the smart guys again. None of these guys are smart except for Galgano. Three, one, four. He's not smart. He gets two break. So Galgano takes that spot. Whiteman's smart. He's also got a blue triangle, but it doesn't matter. Four, five, five. So Ross Pettis. Sorry, my friend. Ross Pettis cannot catch a break. All right, smart. Hal Thomas. Two, four, four. So here's four. He's got two break. So Hal Thomas back to the top group. And Burl Exum, he's a starred smart. No, he's not starred smart, he's just smart. And that don't do it because he got a six, but he did roll a four, not a five or a six on the blue, so he does not have a problem. Turn 45, all done. Moving to 46, 312. So problem in the middle group. We'll see who the problem is with. It is a 32. 32 in the middle group is driver three even. That is Ross Pettis. Uh-oh. His escape is, uh, actually, no, we roll for the problem because this is a problem. 44. 44 is oil pressure roll for repair. So Pettis's pit crew is a D. We are in the last third. And unfortunately for him, that means he's out with an oil pressure problem here in turn 46. All right, let's check Macaluso, see if he can move up, and he does. Marie Schlemmer floating, flirting with being in the top uh, middle group again. Pit stop time, final pit, final pit. And we get a two, a three, six. So top group. We'll get the fast pit opportunity, and we swap three and six. So both these guys have a chip anyway. And six, and three. All right, now we'll check our fast pit. We'll start with Lonnie Lane. He needs a six or less, gets a 12. Fast pit for Whiteman is a five in the last third, so that's a seven too high. Hal Thomas needs a seven, gets a four, so Hal Thomas grabs a chip. Coburn, eight, gets a nine. Godfrey Sell needs a five, gets a nine. And Galgano needs a four and gets an eight. So the only one picking up a chip was Hal Thomas. So he moves up due to the fast pit. Everybody has a chip except the leader. Let's see who gets to challenge the leader. It is number four. It is Larry Hilburn. He rolls a one. Doesn't need to spend his chip. And takes the lead. Hilburn to the lead in turn 47. 
That is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth lead change. Ninth lead change in turn 47. Moving on, turn 48, we're getting close. Five, bottom group, nine, reflex. Lindsay Talby. Three, two, four, two. Three is odd, that would be Burr. So Talby gets to jump up to the middle group. Stoffel, can he get out of the bottom group? He rolls a three, four, two. So the three in the odd in the four is Wedge. That is good. Stoffel's out of the bottom group, at least for now. Uh, reflex. Eldon Briscoe looking to get out of that bottom group. Rolls a five, so that's fine. Rolls a six. So we're looking at Aaron Burke, and unfortunately, he has a chip. So he gets to stay. Kenny Worthington, another big star stuck in the bottom here. He rolls a five. That's good. He's got a starred reflex as well. Six again. Looking again odd, and Burke this time. Doesn't have his chip any longer, so he gets bumped. Gordon McGreevy, only three on the gas, rolls a six, and he's lucky he's not a blue triangle or he'd be in trouble right now. Speaking of blue triangles, Fuzzy Peters, he gets a three, six, five. So he's looking at Worthington and that blue five gets him the spot. Poor Kenny drops back into the bottom group. Porter Lilly does not have reflex, but Branch Montana does and rolls a 2-4-5. So he's looking odd, or e even rather, in the four group. That's Hollis Yoder. He gets bumped. Branch Montana jumping into the middle group right, right in front of Tommy Stoffel. Dwight Trainer rolls a 6. Yellow triangle. That's trouble. Let's see what he gets here. He needs, uh, his escape is a 10. And he gets a 4. So he escapes the trouble. All right. Uh, no. Yes, Rocket Felder. I haven't heard much from him this race. He gets a 4, which is good, and a 1, and a 2. So that's even, and uh, actually, yeah, he has reflex. So that does not work out for Rocket Felder. Rowley Springer. Gets a four, six, four. So he's looking at Gundy and he's gonna take it. And that'll do it because Marie Schlemmer does not have reflex. All right, next to last turn here, turn 49. A three, so that's middle group and a six is skill. So no skill, no skill, no skill. Bridges Baker. Three one one. Well, that ain't gonna get it done. So, uh, starred skill for Tommy Stoffel. Can he sneak into the top? Oh, he rolls triples. That's unfortunate. So let's see what kind of problem he has. Fifty one. Spin drop to front of bottom group. Oh, Tommy Stoffel. That is just bad. That's unfortunate for Tommy Stoffel. Not kind here. Marie Schlemmer can actually get back in the top group here, but does not. Norm Gundy does not. Uh, Rocket Felder does not. Holy mackerel. Patch Willis. Look at that. Patch Willis with his whole two gas pedals gets in the top group. All right. And that, my friends, was turn 49. We're in the last turn of the race now. get a two, which is top group, and a nine, which is reflex. So here we go. There's a whole lot of chips here in the top group. He doesn't have reflex, but Wilsey Whiteman does. And he gets a one and a six. So they're going to they're gonna dice off for the chip to stay or not, and it stays. So that's bad news for the guys rolling after him. Barker doesn't have a chip. But he does roll a four and a five, and he's got one, three. So Hilburn has to spend his chip. Now he's vulnerable. Uh, and we're looking at reflex. But unfortunately, Bowker was the last one, or fortunately for Hilburn, but unfortunately for Selk, Galgano, and Thomas. None of those guys have reflex. 
And our winner is Larry Hilburn. So Hilburn takes the checkered flag, wins the Gulf Breeze 500 here at the Gulf Coast Speedway. That was race number eight in my Scram 1960 season. Play here with red, white, and blue racing from Play Games on the Hexed and Countered channel. Part of my Mythic Sports Universe test run. That's going to do it. As always, uh, feel free to comment, ask questions, point out mistakes. I'm sure I made some. I always do, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This was a long one. So if you stuck around through the whole thing, congratulations and uh, thank you very much. As always, uh, please consider liking, sharing, and or subscribing. I definitely like to get that support, that positive reinforcement. And that's going to do it. My name's Joe. This has been Hexed Encountered Sports Edition. And until next time, happy gaming.